So most people would agree that ice cream is a perfect food. Couldn't possibly be improved. Well, actually, yeah, so why are we even talking about this? Unless... mochi ice cream. It's ice cream that's wrapped in mochi dough. But really quick, please, if you haven't voted for me yet, I am nominated for best food video by Savier Magazine. The link will be in the description for you to vote. And also, if you've already voted, you can vote daily, once a day. It's free to do. It helps you boy out. Thank you so much. Mochi is essentially a Japanese rice cake, and I'm probably mispronouncing that. Mochi, 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 you know, whatever, tachi, whatever the heck you call it. I don't know, brother. And what we're doing is we're taking that rice cake dough and we're wrapping it around ice cream. Now, if you've had it before, then you understand the beauty of this. If you've never had it before, it's about darn time. So let's make this, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is pre-scoop our ice cream. You need these ice cream balls to be as freezy cold as possible before making these. Weirdly enough, I've found that egg cartons tend to be the perfect size. I tried using a muffin tin, but the balls will lose their roundness there. Haha, <laughs> balls, yeah. Now look, I'm gonna level with you. I did not churn my ice cream for this recipe, I know. How could the king of extra not churn his own ice cream? As ashamed as I am on this one, you're more than welcome to churn your own ice cream. As a personal apology, the ice cream recipes will be coming soon. But until then, line your egg carton with plastic wrap or even be wax wrap if you've got it, and scoop balls of ice cream into each egg slot. This recipe will make about 8 to 12 mochi, so that'll give you a rough idea. Now once you've scooped your ice cream balls, place them back in the freezer to chill for at least 2 hours or up to 2 days ahead of time, not too long unless you want freezer flavor. Next we're going to make our mochi dough. First combine 1 cup or 160 grams of sweet gluttonous rice flour, I use mochiko, there'll be a link in the description for this, with a quarter cup or 60 grams of granulated sugar, I know that's a lot of sugar but it's super common and necessary to keep the mochi soft. Give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined, then whisk in 1 cup or 236 milliliters of water. Once everything is nice and homogenous, clean the sides of the bowl so none of the mixture cakes up on the walls, cover it with plastic wrap, and microwave it for one minute. You see, the alternative to this would be steaming really sticky rice and then pounding it until you want to die, so I'm trying to help you out with this method. After that one minute steam, remove the plastic wrap, wet your spatula, and fold the mixture together repeatedly until evenly mixed. You can also use a whisk on mixing the first round of steaming to help break up those little chunks to keep it smooth. Then cover it again and steam it in the microwave for one more minute. This is my girlfriend who did this. This is not an Apple microwave. Those don't exist. Again, wetting your spatula as necessary, fold the mixture together repeatedly. Do not use your whisk from this point on. Too much of a sticky boy, that's why we're using the water. And repeat one more time, but this time for 30 seconds. Then wet the spatula and fold, fold, fold. Then place a sheet of parchment paper on a work surface, slightly larger than the size of a baking tray. I personally like to tape it down. Then generously dust the parchment paper with cornstarch. Pour out your mochi dough in the center of the dusted parchment. Get a shot for the homies on the gram, and if you don't follow me, the link is in the description. Generously dust the dough and a rolling pin and gently roll the dough into a rough, well, what, what shape would this be? I guess sort of like a sad rectangle until it's about a quarter of an inch thick evenly across the dough. And by the way, you will need to repeatedly dust this bad boy with cornstarch to keep it from sticking because this, this boy is sticky. Try not to get into sticking mode because once that starts to happen, it sucks. Carefully transfer the dough over to a baking sheet and then place the entire baking sheet uncovered in the fridge for 20 minutes until the dough is cold and set. Once set, dust the top again with cornstarch if it's not already dusted and use a circular dough cutter to cut out as many circles as you can. You should get about eight to 12. I've noticed that for a two inch cookie scoop, a three and a half or three and three quarter of an inch circular cutter works pretty well. Once you have your rounds, take a ball of ice cream from the freezer one at a time. Make sure not to take them all out at once, by the way, or else you're gonna have a bad time, melty. Dust off your rounds with a brush, that way they're not super cornstarchy. Then place a ball in the center of the round and gently fold the sides over and press together to adhere. If it gets sticky, then redust with more cornstarch. Be mindful that you gotta work quickly and touch these balls as little as possible to prevent melting. Once wrapped in mochi dough, wrap them in plastic wrap and twist the end moderately tight, but not so tight that it pops. And place in a small muffin tin in the freezer to retain its shape. Then repeat with all your ice cream balls. Be aware that you should be working with the ice cream balls and in individual mochi one ball at a time. That way they're not sitting at room temperature for long periods of time. Once all of your mochi are wrapped, just leave them in the freezer for an hour or as long as you want. They're gonna harden up. So when serving, be sure to let them rest at room temp for one or two minutes to soften up lightly. Then enjoy with the homies. You just, you just eat it, you know? pretty simple. But you want to know what else is pretty simple? B-roll.
guys, and that is it. So, mochi ice cream, we gosh darn made it. This stupid phone. Now before we go, I have a really important heart-to-heart -heart conversation I have to have with you guys. Just out of respect for, for you and everyone who supports me and just all, all of everything that's going on, things are just... So the first thing is, um, it's been a while since I've said this, but I just wanna take a quick second to say thank you so, so much for all the support. I'm, I'm really, I just cannot express how grateful I am for you guys. The second thing is that as this channel has grown, um, I've been starting to think about ways that I can continue to sustain it and grow it as much as possible. And so that means that I'm gonna be taking on a couple of branded partnerships here and there. Of course, I'm not gonna be taking anything that I would never use, that I don't use or whatever, any of those things. It's only gonna be geared towards stuff that is relevant to me and what I do and what I feel morally right about. And I only care, the number one thing that I care about is you guys and making sure that you guys feel that you're being provided value and that you're being respected in this scenario. So just, just thank you for being so receptive and I, I, I don't really expect much backlash on this decision, but you know, because, because you know, just about everybody on YouTube does it, it's kind of like a, everybody's used to it at this point, but you know, I'm just trying to be respectful to you. And so, yeah, that's it. And, and I mean this genuinely from the bottom of my heart. So long story short, probably don't even need to announce it, but I just want to do it because it makes me feel better because I'm having the conversation with you. So my DMs are open. DM me anytime if you ever have any questions. But long story short, nothing is changing. Content's still coming the same way. Just expect a couple of brand deals here and there. Other than that, I love you guys. Again, don't forget to vote for me for best food video. The link will be in the description. And so all my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, be sure to follow me on there if you're not already. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time.